Hello and welcome to Kerbal Space Ramp. As you might be able to tell by the fact that there are two planes currently following me, this is uh, using... <laughs> they're having a little trouble. Uh, that's interesting. All right, I'm going to go ahead and speed it up a little bit. This is using uh, the newest version of BD Armory, which includes having some... Whatchamacallit, some... A, uh, frickin', I can't think of the term right now. AI Wing Commander. It's called Wing Commander. And it allows you to have planes follow you. And they will really follow you, and it's pretty cool. And so, like, I'm gonna do a maneuver here, and they're gonna lag slightly behind me, but they should mostly keep up. Mostly. Yeah, they'll fall a little bit back, but by the time I complete my maneuver, they will keep up with me, which is pretty cool. And that's cool, they're switching sides. Yeah, I've, this is literally the first time I've used it. I want to make a video on BD Armory's uh, new version and the AI system and stuff. But right now, this video is primarily focused on the Skyhawk Mark III. This is what I'm calling the Skyhawk Mark III. As you can see, it looks a bit like an arrow. It's designed to go fast. I'm going back to the original design intent of the Skyhawks, which is to go fast. Gotta go fast. And uh, they're way back there. Hold on, hold on. Come on, guys, catch up. Come on, I'm gonna. I'm. I, I'm turning down the. I'm turning down my speed a bit. I'm throttling. I mean, I'm not throttling back, but I turned on the air brake, which of course makes my uh, nose want to pitch up quite a bit because the air brake is up top. But yeah, this is the Skyhawk Mark III, and I figure. Well, first of all, I'm going to point out that there are radiator panels on it. There's some embedded in the wings. There's two on the top there. There's one on the bottom there. Also. I've had one hell of a day. Yeah, this morning, gosh, it's it's been so long. It feels like uh, like three days ago, but this, this it's been a long day. This morning, this morning, uh, I had to transfer buses at the downtown bus station. Oops, wrong button. And uh, bus driver nearly drove off with my bike, so that was fun. And yeah, I, I had I had a, a horrible start to my day, but uh, my day was pretty good overall. I'd say. Um, I'm terrified of my physics class, though, because I was having some trouble with that. And it's only, like, the third or fourth day of the semester for that class. So, that's kind of scary. But yeah, there we go. They're forming back up on me. And you can see we are ready to go. Let's go ahead and... I'm going to turn the spread way down. I'm going to see how close we can... I, I'm not sure exactly what this will do. But, uh, I'm thinking it'll make them come in closer. Hey, you're going too far. Looks like he's actually having... Oh, actually, that would make sense. I was going to say, it looks like they're uh, overheating slightly. But that would make sense considering they uh, they boosted themselves up faster to catch up to me. I'm going to turn the spread back down a little more. I'm going to... Oh, 20 is the minimum. So this is as close as you can tell them to get to you. Oh, they're not going to do a little spin with me? Alright, let's see how well they deal with that. Sorry, like I said, I know this video is supposed to be about the Skyhawk, but I'm just playing with the AI. Alright, I'm going to see if I can drive them into the ground. And also, I'm going to go to max speed, because, well, I told you, this uh, this plane is designed to go fast. And so, it's time to demonstrate that it can go fast, because what's the point of me saying it can go fast without a little demonstration? I didn't see I'm pulling a pretty good, pretty, pretty good, uh, pretty good turn. And, uh, actually we stopped speeding up there because I was going too fast, but, uh, there we go. And, um, I'm actually, I'm actually racing towards the ground like this because I want to see if they get confused and also if they'll crash themselves into the ground when they get confused by me doing this. And there we go. Pull up a little bit. Pull down a little bit. I'm just trying to stay above the ground but low to the ground so as to hopefully confuse the heck out of the AI. As you can see, we're going quite fast, especially for this low in the atmosphere. And uh, this is where the radiator panels come in, because this thing will overheat. Oh yes, there you go. This thing will also pull huge amounts of Gs. There they are, 16 kilometers out. Still trying to catch up to me. I actually kind of want to pull back into formation if they'll let me. 
So let's see. I'm going to head straight for them. And I'm going to just cut the throttle down real low. And then I'll fast forward to when they're about to form up on me again. Because, you know, you don't want to sit here and watch them forming up. Or do you? Maybe you do. See, there's, there's them going by real fast. And then they're going to turn around and come back. I apologize for the slight lag. My god. I wish I could get a new computer. I wish I could upgrade things. But uh, I really am out of fuel. I'm out of fuel. I just realized I'm out of fuel. Um, this thing does not have a high fuel capacity. It's designed for speed, and nothing else was taken into consideration during the design. So, <laughs> I am out of fuel already. Really? I'm out of fuel already? That's like, wow. Oh, and now I'm going to, yes, of course, I'm going to run an electric charge, because technically there is a reaction wheel spinning in the front there, and that will be dying. I'm pretty sure wherever my jets have gone there oh hey they're about to they're about to form up on me as I'm coming in for a landing can I tell them to land no hmm that's interesting you can also see their status over here so you can see they're set to follow also you can see how I'm slightly overheated here because those are red but uh, that's why we have the radiators on this design of course I made a version without the radiator panels so if you would rather use that you can and uh where are they? Oops, wrong button. Oh, they're still up in the skies. Right, well, we've landed. Looks like they are going to... Well, I'm guessing that they tried to come down, and then it's like their AI goes, Oh, wait, nope, we need to gain altitude. Oh, this guy's going to... Yeah, unless he pulls out of that dive, he's going to crash. Let's see, did I... Okay, I want to leave that off for now. Oh, look at that. They're still synchronized with each other. And surprisingly not out of fuel. Probably because... Actually, I don't know why. Because, I mean, they've been doing as much maneuvering and stuff as I have. I guess they've um, they've done a lot of stopping and starting the engines. Whereas I've done a uh, controlled, like, steady amount. Maybe that's why. I've also used a lot more air brake than they have in that. I don't think they've used any. Anyhow, enough talking about the AI and messing around with it. Let's take a look at the work in progress versions. This looks finished. This looks very finished. What? This is labeled as work in progress 2. I don't have a work in progress 1. And this looks finished. You know, it suddenly occurs to me, maybe, that all my work in progress versions on this plane were just in minor adjustments? Or uh, also, perhaps setting up action groups, although the only action group is to toggle intakes and engines. I honestly thought I had more to go over with this design, but it looks like I really don't. Well then, I guess all there is left to do is show off the design real fast, and maybe do another little flight where I overheat it, and also show the dash R version, which stands for removed radiators, or minus radiators, because, you know, maybe you don't want those which I believe it says so in here. The dash R stands for minus radiators because this variant has the radiators removed for more speed at a much higher risk at overheating. Yes, the Sky the Skyhawk Mach 3 is an updated, completely refreshed version of the Skyhawk series designed for speed. And while I'm here today, this was sent in by William Hudson, I believe, if I remember correctly. I will double check my notes, but that should be it. Yes, Will Hudson wanted to modify something and thought this plane was pretty bad in the new aerodynamics. So yes, this is the old Skyhawk and he modified it to use the new Panther engines. So I figured I would take a look at that since I am also updating my Skyhawk. Figured, let's take a look at how he updated it. So it looks like, I'm not sure if these were moved this far forward or if they always were and then the update made them do this clip thing. It doesn't look too bad, but just slightly weird but as far as the rest of it yes this was the original Skyhawk first though we need to fly one of these which let me show you real fast yep the uh, center of lift is a bit far back but we don't really need the wings to give us too much lift too much maneuverability in fact if we had them further forward it'd probably screw us over in that they would um, whatchamacallit they would they would allow us to pull up too fast and we'd break apart under aerodynamic forces. As it stands right now, if I remember correctly, you can do a full speed pull up as hard as you can at any speed in this thing. 
and it will have no problems other than you know overheating of course which we're demonstrating right now I'm gonna go ahead and pull up real fast to demonstrate that yes yeah, see we're going pretty damn fast and you can see I can pull up no problem the only problem might be that the Kerbal is now dead from being squished as jelly because you know extremely high G maneuvers will do that to you unless you're in Kerbal Swiss round which a Kerbal would be but that's beside the point yeah as you can see we're going quite fast and I hit the wrong button. There you go. They're now overheating. And as you can see, that explodes. And then. Oh, that's interesting. There we go. Yeah, so basically the cockpit explodes, or there's like one little piece in here that explodes, and it makes the cockpit explode. And now you can see the rest of it uncontrolled actually uh, lasts for quite a while without exploding. Although you can see there's a bit exploding, and it looks like the landing gear are trying to go, although they haven't yet. This thing is still going pretty damn fast, and it's on a pretty good trajectory going up, 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 which is interesting. And it's actually, it's actually gotten high enough now to where it's not having a problem overheating, although it is now starting to slow down a little. It's a very blunt, blunt nose going into the airstream right there. And looks like the engines have died, and now we're going to start losing the speed quite dramatically. That thing, theoretically, would go to 33 kilometers. Of course, it's uh, experiencing drag, so it'll probably go It'll probably go pretty close to that, but yeah. I'm actually kind of curious to see how this turns out. But anyhow, we're going to go back to the SPH. But if you stick around for the outro, you get to see that magic of editing... This is, of course, the version without radiators, and this one should break up sooner, unless it turns out that I was completely wrong and I shouldn't have made multiple versions. Did I mention my throat still hurts? Yeah. Alright, so you can see we are very quickly up to the same kind of speeds, but the moment this one starts to overheat, it should overheat much quicker. As you can see, it looks like we're going to lose the air brake first. No? I don't know. And you can see, here it goes. Still going on. And it actually lost quite a bit of speed from the increase in drag from having the front blown off of it. See, performance is similar, but I believe... I, I, I'd have to double check. I'd have to go back and look at the video. But I believe... Well, for one thing, things are breaking off now that didn't break off last time. Or did they? I don't remember. Gosh, I can't remember what happened like five minutes ago. I'm a bit stressed. All right, we're gonna finish up today by taking a look at the Mark I Panther Skyhawk modified version by William Hudson. So while not a plane reviews episode, you can say I did take a look at a plane during it. That's interesting, that thing seemed to want to tilt to the right a little bit on the runway there. But we're now in the air and Two apparently toggles the engines. What? Oh, okay. That's weird. I don't. I don't know exactly what I did, but I tapped two a bunch of times and then tapped one, and now we have afterburners. Well, that's what I was going after, anyhow. So here we go, afterburners. Ah, oh, yes, I forgot about the new cockpit design. Yes, I wasn't gonna crash. I know I'm possibly made it sound like it because I was like oh looking around blah 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 let me just do something stupid like that that was pretty fun no seriously that was pretty fun <laughs> although I did I did literally kill one of my engines doing that which is pretty funny in my opinion well that's what happens when you uh, have engines that require quite a bit of thrust and you uh, are quite a bit of air and you uh, just suddenly turn around I thought I was going to hit that. I'm uh, I'm honestly a little bit shocked I didn't hit that. Yeah. So this uh this it's not as fast, not nearly as fast, of course. It's uh older design. It was faster. Well, it wasn't faster, but the old aerodynamics were holding it back, so it can go faster now. Having those uh thrust vector engines definitely helps, although it's a little twitchy, you know? I don't remember if the original was a little twitchy or not, so 
not I can't blame the modification. Of course, the modification was fairly simple, but uh, nonetheless, there you go. Here's a thing. That's essentially that's essentially all I can say about it. There you go. Here's a thing. I mostly made it. He made a modification. That's the majority of what I can say. But, but, but yeah, it's pretty fun to fly, actually. And uh, thanks for watching. And as always, that's an interesting maneuver. See you in space.